Let's do one more of these, um, which is the more stable conformational ring isomer. So here we've got this uh, one, two, three um, trimethyl cyclohexane. Uh, and you can see they're all pointed towards us, okay? So they're all pointed up. So the first thing, again, you want to do is draw the actual cyclohexane ring and then show the ring flip structure. Like I always say, get good at this prior to the exam because um, they're not the easiest thing to do. As you can see, even mine, this one's not as good looking as that one, and that's what it tends to be. Well, I'm right-handed, so I like these ones better. But anyways, uh, remember what we said. So, label your carbons. One, two, three, and you can start that labeling wherever. Um, I like to start with one at the top. That's just my personal preference. And ups, so I'll just like to put as axial on this, this one, so. Okay. Guess we should label them here too. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay, so we got the axial there. Two is uh, up, right? But down would be axial here, so up must be equatorial. And then three up. Remember, when it's pointed up, it's going. The up is going to be axial. When it's pointed down, the down's going to be axial. So this one's pointed up, so the up is axial. Okay, so let's go ahead and label our ring over here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Remember, it's just like an envelope. You're pushing that side down. Okay, so if it's axial over here, then it's equatorial over here. So one, two, equatorial over here. So it's axial over here. You don't even need to know that because this one's pointing, the point is pointed up, so the axial is up. Remember? And then here, of course, it's going to be equatorial as well. Okay, so here we've got how many axials, how many equatorials? So two axials, one equatorial. Here we've got one axial, two equatorials. So this one's more stable. Because remember, equatorials are more stable than axials. So. I'm going to do something like that. Very cool. So hopefully you can uh, do these. Do a few of these problems in your book. Um, find them in the Becker book, I'm sure. They have some. Okay?